Hello everybody. This is a uh, more edited version and uh, I hope better version of an older video that I did about how to install custom mod packs for the server hosting platform Exoroton. Now what you're going to have to do is go over to create a server, exoroton.com slash create. You're going to of course choose this IP. So I'm going to use a mod pack tutorial and then we're just going to pick something for the uh, description, All right? The IP went through unique IP. We don't care about mod packs right now. Now what you're going to want to do is go to software, go to mod packs. And so we see all these mod packs, we see curse forge, blah, 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 but all these are pre-configured. We want to actually change the configuration of some of our mods, mod packs. We want to add some mods, remove some. If you want to just customize your mod pack experience, you would want to go to custom forge. Now this tutorial is only for forge mod packs. If you want a fabric one, leave a comment, like the video, and I'll do another one for fabric, but the process is sort of similar. So I think you'd manage fine. But if you can't, of course, leave a comment. So now we head to files.minecraftforge.net and you want to take note of the version your mod pack is. So it's Forge version this and game version this. I would suggest matching the Forge version to the number. I think if you use the more most recent Forge version to your game version, it would be okay. But I think matching the version just would be um, more advised because you know this you know the versions match of course. So of course take note of the game version. Go down to your game version that you use. Go to installer. I already have it uh, downloaded. Oh no, I didn't. I deleted it. We're gonna install it. Bam, and we're gonna drag it to our desktop. All right. So now we have our Forge installer. We're gonna pop it open, double click on it. And then we're gonna see install client or install server. I'm gonna choose install server. Installing the client just basically means it's gonna install Forge on your computer, but we already have Forge because we're running Curse Forge and we're gonna load up the mod pack that we're gonna play on. Um, so of course you're gonna to wanna to do that. And then I'm gonna put my things, I'm gonna blur this all out, but they're gonna go into this folder right here, server files. Press okay. It's gonna start downloading all of the files. It's gonna unpack all of them. And okay, so now we have all of our files right here, libraries, forge, and Minecraft server. So pop open your Exoroton again, right here. And what you're gonna wanna do is go to the file explorer and drag all of these into here. So custom forge, this is the executable, this is the game version. Oh, I did not get the version that was 12.18.3.2.4.2.2, 12.18.3.2.5.1.1. These are not the correct files. See, I made that mistake. Show all versions, and you're gonna wanna find the one that corresponds to your mod pack. So mine is 2.4.2.2, 2.4.2.2, right there. Installer, do the whole process again. We're gonna delete these files that were in here. I just did some Googling. Apparently Mercurius is stats and analytics for Forge. Uh, I wouldn't install it to be honest. Meh, whatever. You can uncheck that box. It's gonna go through the whole process again. We now have our server files. We're gonna plop them back into here. And we're gonna, of course, choose Forge as the executable. This is the version. We're gonna hit install. And it's gonna take a little bit. While that's going, we can go to our Curse Forge. And this is how we're actually gonna acquire our mods because you need to install the mod pack before actually getting access to the mods and the configuration and all that jazz. I'm pretty sure you can still install mod packs using a zip file, but the zip file needs CurseForge to actually install the mods to contact their server. You're gonna need the CurseForge launcher anyway. And for Feed the Beast mod packs, or the newer ones anyway, you're gonna need their own launcher. So for Stoneblock 2, for example, I needed the Feed the Beast launcher to actually get access to the mod pack. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. So anyway, now what you're gonna do is go to here and do open folder. This should contain all of the mods that are in your mod pack. And I would suggest going through all of these folders and finding out, do they have anything in them? Because if they do, you probably need them. And if they don't, um, you probably don't need them. Fuck it. We're just gonna control A the entire thing and drag it into Exoroton. You cannot upload this file here. Do it folder by folder. So I know mods are gonna need to go there. Mods already exist, replace, replace. Just do it trial and error and eventually you'll get it. Like you can't just drag the entire folder of the mod pack in just because there are some files that it doesn't allow. This is gonna take some time. So so we're gonna be back after this, after this does this thing.
On the bright side, that was the beefiest folder out of all of them. All right, now let's try them one by one. So ASM, U, config. Config obviously does go in. That's just the config for all the mods. This is what you're gonna wanna change if you ever wanna change the config of any mods. So let's say I wanna change like some Ender IO stuff. I'd go to, or like some easy storage. I'd just click on easy storage and then you can just edit it in here. So let's say like, like basic range, right? You can just change this number and it'll change in game. But I don't wanna do that right now, so whatever. Downloads, probably, probably not. I'd probably not, um, there's nothing in there. If it's gonna need the folder, it makes the folder automatically. That's just how file managing works. Library, we're gonna put that in. Logs, we don't need the logs. The server will generate the logs for us. Mods, of course, we got that. Mods, resource packs, slap that in. MP utils, I'm guessing this is Minecraft something. Uh, resources, of course, mods need their resources. So we're gonna put that in. Saves is just, you're gonna be your worlds. So if you ever wanna copy your world to your server, it's gonna be in saves, but I haven't made a world yet. So I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna play Sink Into Madness probably soon in a series. So let me know if you guys want that. Scripts, probably. We probably need the scripts for the mods. Uh, shader packs, there's nothing in here. It won't even load. Structures, um, I'm, I'm guessing this is for schematic. And since the, all these folders are empty, it's not even gonna upload anyway. I'm interested, what is, the, what is the manifest? The manifest JSON is just the CurseForge downloader. So this is actually, the project ID is actually the mod file ID, or the, the mod ID and the file ID is the file ID. So this is what comes in, t in the zip file before you download your mod pack. So of course we don't need uh, we don't need that. So now we have our compiled server. Now we're gonna want to see if it runs. I'm not gonna lie, I might have screwed something up because this mod pack says in its description that it requires six gigabytes of RAM, and I only gave it four on the server. So I'm not sure if this will actually load up properly. Um, let's hope it does. But if it doesn't, then I need to change the RAM count, and then I'll be back in business loud and it's up it's online and no errors and no crashes so i'm pretty sure we just successfully um started up the server now sync it to madness itself is not a multiplayer mod pack as the creator said in its description that multiplayer isn't supported um people have gotten it to work but i do suggest you read the description of the mod pack that you do that you want to install before doing anything um because you know what if you what if you screw up what if it's not multiplayer supported all that good stuff let's actually try to connect and you can see the cpu spike up to 100 percent what we do actually load in i am worried yeah okay so this is this is a problem with some mod pack um this is an issue with most mod packs that um are sort of customized as well as sync into madness is is that this world is the default generated world by vanilla Minecraft, but it shouldn't happen like this because you need a special world type when you're creating the world. So this is this is an this is an error, and it should not look like this. We're just gonna slash stop. Um, let's actually see if we can fix this on the fly. Little did I know that this small decision to fix it on the fly instead of using my saved world file would cost me an extra 20 minutes of pain. You can actually see if you go to single player and create new world, more world options, world type use this. This world type is what the pack revolves around. Use this is a world type, but I'm not sure what its actual ID is in here. To save all of you 20 minutes of pain, just generate the world file in a single player world and copy it into Xeroton into the worlds folder using your world section. Do not try to customize the world file. Do not try to modify levels.dat. This is only for people who are masochistic and want to find the bottom of the issue. If you do not care about why the issue is happening and you just want your server to work, just generate a single player world and then use that world on your server. It should be gone by now. New world, delete. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's just gone. It just shows up as a ghost. And you just go to upload folder and let me locate my here saves new world upload upload we're gonna hit start one more time and now it's gonna actually bring us into the server all right and finally we are in we're in spectator mode because i was in spectator mode on, on my single player world and then it saves the modes that every single player is in but finally we have the world that we want so to wrap it up always 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 
generate a single player world and then use that single player world, upload it to Exaroton in the worlds category, not on the files, because it's gonna screw up. In the worlds, upload your world files into there. So you do not get the uh, 17 minutes of pain that I went through trying to calculate the world ID and the mod ID and stuff like that. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed, like the video, comment, do all that good stuff, and um, I'll see you later.